Um, right, so I thought I'd do another video. Um, I did another one of these off camera to have a little experiment of um, making those changes. So I routed out this bit, so that's looking much neater. And actually, I don't know why I thought it would be that difficult. It wasn't that difficult. Um, the only little blemish is this little bit where I was experimenting with the depths for that router piece to go to. I should have just done it at this depth because it's not even, it's not even a millimeter. Um, but anyway, other than that, it's pretty pretty neat. Uh, did everything else the same? I did this width slightly thicker, so this is six centimeters, and this is about um, I think forty eight centimeters diameter. Um, so relatively, it's probably a lot wider because the other one was about sixty and had a width of five. So um, uh, hopefully that will make this one not warp, or fingers crossed. And then we've got the next size down to do here. This is about um, 35, I think. And uh, maybe we can get another one as well. Um, so this video, I thought I would do, you know, one from scratch again. So the bigger size, this is almost, this will be almost another 60 centimeter diameter um, uh, stretcher. And then do all the things differently. So bring it in a bit so we don't cut through different you know, don't the, the router doesn't have a massive change in resistance and spin off like it did last time. And um, do about eight centimeters, and then I'll stretch up and see if that's any better. Um, route out the recess bit, um, and then yeah, we'll see if we can get some concentric ones going down smaller and just kind of bash it out and see. You know, once I've bolted it into the middle of this one, I might as well just keep it bolted in and just do them all um, and do it all in one go and see how long that takes me. Um, because potentially I was thinking that, you know, this is a pretty niche thing, um, but there's not really anything out there. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to buy these things, but there isn't anything. So I'm having to make them. So if these are something that I can make quite easily, maybe I'll pop them up on Etsy shop and see if other artists are looking for these kind of things. Um, cause it, you know, this one took me like an hour and that was my second attempt. So I definitely think, especially by making them together, I can definitely bash them out and um, get them made in pretty good time and then they'll still be fairly affordable considering what else is out there at the moment which isn't very much. It's either like ridiculously bespoke or just like really basic and terrible um, or just like you know just a bit hobbyist um, whereas I'm you know I just, I, I think it'll be super fancy but it's just got to be that like a little bit better um, and yeah but I think they're going to work really well for me um, so hopefully they'll work for someone else. Um, but yeah, we'll do a video um, making this from scratch again and um, yeah, we'll see how far we can get and do it in like one shot and nothing will go wrong. number three um, I think it's probably the best one so far it's got really minimal blemishes like this is nice and smooth I haven't got um, you know this, like this little bit in this one 
where I just did slightly different depth. I did it all nice and consistent, smoothed out with some sanding. Um, I got a little dip on the outside um, from when I did the cut from the square bit of board. As I said, when I um, sort of when you get to the start or the finish of it, being really careful. Um, that it doesn't move because obviously it's only got a titchy bit of material holding it together so when it gets to that last bit it might rip a bit out it makes a little bit of a lump or something um, on the outside that happened but and I was really careful on the inside and that hasn't happened on the inside so that's quite good so the next one the sides down from this has a completely perfect um, exterior circle um, I think you can see maybe the tiny little burn mark where I first went through but there's no change in the um, in the circle and the dips so yeah it looks pretty smart um you know it has little titchy bits like this that you know they don't really eat into the profile um but they're just not you know completely perfect but you know it's been going to be covered with canvas anyway so it doesn't really matter um if it's got little blemishes it's more just i wanted to find, see if i can try and make these look um you know professional um so yes yeah, this is a bit quite a bit thicker i don't know if this is going to be a bit of overkill um, but it certainly feels a bit more substantial. This one feels quite slim in comparison, but maybe this is the kind of better ratio. I don't know. We'll see. We'll stretch these up and, um, have, you know, do some more tests. And then maybe then I'll finalise exactly how I like to make them, you know, how big it needs to be and what's the ratio to the width of it. Um, if I want to make some more, try and sell that I can be like, happy with that are like, I'm gonna, not going to have any problems. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking it's pretty smart, and uh, yeah, pretty pleased with this, this how this product's been turning out. They've been um, pretty much exactly what I wanted, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, gonna make some more paintings. <laughs>